So hi and welcome back to another video and this time we're going to be taking a look at American Truck Simulator 1.51 in Steam VR. Now you've probably wondered how I get those YouTube short videos looking so good. Well the truth actually is that YouTube formats YouTube shorts to standard definition so they're not actually a patch on what you see in Steam VR in the actual VR headset. So let's show you how to get your game looking amazing and see ATS how you've never seen it before. Here's a complete ATS Steam VR guide. And let's get to it. Okay, welcome to the new Steam VR guide. So we're going to keep this guide as short as possible and feel free to pause at relevant moments during the video. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download the Steam VR app from the Steam store. We need to then click on manage and properties and we need to change a couple of parameters in here. So in the update section we need to enable high priority always update this game before others the next thing we need to enable is pause background downloading while i'm playing then we're going to go to the meta horizon store and we are going to download the steam application from a meta horizon store and once we've done this we need to then pair the application to the PC using a one-time pairing process. Now it may ask you for a code which is displayed on your PC screen and you may have to enter that onto here just to confirm. If you click on connect you'll then take you into the Steam environment and if you click on the left controller button you'll then be able to open the Steam menu as you can see here. So you can see ATS on the left hand side just here. If we click on the menu on the left hand side It'll bring up your whole Steam VR library or all games if you select the second tab along the top. Okay, so the most crucial part of Steam VR as its wireless service is having a really good connection. Now, I'm using Wi Fi 6E here, and you can see that I have speeds of just under 900 megabits a second. You would need a minimum, really, of anything over 300 to get a real good stable connection. Anything below that, you're going to have to start dropping settings down. If you now go to File Explorer, go to your Documents folder and locate American Truck Simulator, we're going to need to open the configuration file and open it with WordPad. And when in the configuration folder, we need to then change these three settings. First of all, we need to change the buffer page size to 40. We then change the Ignore HMD Timing to 1. And then we change the Manual Stereo Buffer Scale to 1.3. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, you can go into the NVIDIA app and you can change and lock the maximum frame rate. I would recommend locking it at 90. Then we go into the Steam environment and then we will go to Steam settings, VR settings. And then if we bring up the advanced menu, if you look in the lower left hand corner, it'll be set to hide as default. And you can see it opens a set of custom settings. Now in the custom settings, we need to change the following. We need to turn advanced super sampling fields into off, the overlay render quality to high, and we go to Steam Link, and if you see at the bottom slider, it shows this is what it would look like as default. We need to click on show so you can see the actual settings in here. Change the target bandwidth to manual, and we'll set that to its highest value, providing your broadband connection exceeds that value. If it's lower, you'll need to set it to a lower value. We've then changed the other settings as I'm highlighting here. And we can then close this menu. We then need to launch a game. And once inside the game, we can make the final settings. So you're looking around, just check the quality, check the rendering quality and look for any disruption. Click the left hand controller. And I'm just highlighting it here for you. This is the menu button. This is on the left hand controller of the Quest Pro. If we click on video settings, it takes us into a sub menu and it highlights the menu for the particular game that you are playing. You see arm trucks at the top. So we set the custom resolution multiplier to the resolution of the actual headset you're using. In this case, it's a Quest Pro and it's set to around 130%. And if we then look at the custom size, it should be 100%. And the custom world scale is off. If you then press the menu button again, it takes us back into the game. So just to show you again, the left hand menu button on the left hand controller. And as you can see, these are the settings we need to apply in there. If you then look left to right, 
and you are looking for any jankiness, any jaggedness, if there is, you need to drop the custom resolution multiplier down slightly, and you may also need to adjust the custom bandwidth if you've exceeded the actual broadband connectivity that you are using. So that looks very nice. We then go into the main menu just here, and you can see this is the actual 1.51 version. If we then go to system, we go to options, and this is the highest graphical quality available. You can see I've got scaling set to 400%. We set the actual resolution of the monitor at its lowest level because we're not actually looking at that menu, we're looking within the headset itself. And we are targeting the frame rate to 90%, which is just slightly above the actual render resolution of the headset, which is set to 80 hertz at the moment. You can set it higher, you can set it lower depending on how your PC runs. Anti-aliasing, I've set to TAA, I've set to always sharp and 1.50. Everything else is set to the highest quality. And moving on to the in-game testing, with the settings applied, with the connectivity as you've seen, this is exactly how it looks like running within the headset. So I'm using Quest Pro and it is an absolutely fantastic experience. So I tried to keep the video as brief as possible. I would recommend watching it through, pause it at the relevant sections, check out the settings, apply those settings, and I hope you have a fantastic experience. I'm going to leave you with just watching these clips. These are the actual in-game clips recorded directly, but as said, these are exactly how it looks like to me within the VR experience. Uh, one thing I would recommend is if you move your head left and right rapidly when you do apply the modifications, if you see any blinkering effect, then you would need to essentially reduce the settings down to compensate for that. But the most important thing about ATS in VR is having a good fast Wi-Fi connection. Now I've used Wi-Fi 5, I've recently upgraded to Wi-Fi 6E, the Quest Pro, the Quest 3 are both compatible with that. I would highly recommend upgrading your router to a Wi-Fi 6E router if you want to play wirelessly, pull the cables away, uninstall the Oculus application, and I would essentially just use Steam VR. Steam VR is absolutely fantastic, it works far better. As you can see, these are the actual results you're going to get. I have overlaid these final clips with some handy hints as well. These are very important, particularly with regards to keeping on top of your modifications. But I'll let you watch the final clips.
So thank you again for watching the video and I hope it's really helped you understand how to set up American Truck Simulator in Steam VR and get as much enjoyment as I do from the VR gaming. If it has helped you, I would really appreciate a like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified about the next video. But as always, there is a link at the end to some other videos I'm sure you'll enjoy. Take care and I'll see you again soon.